Howdy y'all, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana and today guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today we are back on our Lone Ranger series guys and as you can see, we have here our new little sheepdog guarding our bison, uh, which is pretty great. I love this thing, it is great. Um, it has survived the journey back here without any issues. It's very fast. Uh, it did get a little hurt on the way over, but that's okay. We can definitely um, keep it fed up, get it healed up, and it will be just absolutely fine. Now, we do also need to start pumping some sort of points into this, so I think I'm going to put a few points into health. That is a lot of points into health very quickly. Um, mostly because this dog is pretty weak, uh, so I do want to make sure that we give it as many uh, good stats as we can. Now, I also had asked for a lot of name suggestions, and you guys really came through. We had so many great name suggestions for our new dog here. Um, I really liked a few of them in particular. Uh, that would be Hank after the old book series, Hank the Cowdog, which I actually love. But this is a female wolf, um, and so I think I'm actually going to name her Bullet, because Bullet's kind of a more neutral name, and Bullet is definitely... Definitely a name I super love um, for these dogs. So, Bullet is actually after a Western show called Roy Rogers, which um, I actually used to watch that show a little bit as well. So, I love it very much. This is going to be Bullet. She's going to be our sheepdog herder. Um, and she's going to be great. And hopefully, we will eventually get Bullet a little pack going. We'll have a little uh, kennel breeding operation going. So, I'm hoping that works out really well. Now, in the meantime, guys, uh, so Bullet needs to be broken in. We definitely need to take her out for a spin. Uh, she's pretty great, but we are definitely hurting for supplies on this particular series. We need armor, guys. All I have on her right now is a cloth hat. So I think what we're going to do is try to run over to the central cave and see if we can't get ourselves um, a little bit better helmet, uh, preferably an Ascendant Chitin helmet by... Um, Tributing the artifact, so hopefully we'll manage to do that. Yeah, I see that turkey. Dangerous area, turkey. Got it. Good to know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head over there. Um, let's just run right past that guy right there. I don't really want to mess with the coyotes today. Oh, an otter. <laughs> Wes needs a friend soon. We are going to have to get, um, get Wes, our otter friend, another buddy. We're also going to run past all of these things. They're so bad. They're everywhere. <laughs> Makes me nervous, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Um, all right, so we're going to keep going. I'm going to bring you guys back uh, when we get over to the central cave entrance. Should take us just a minute to get over there. We're going to kind of be skirting a lot of the dangerous things here. Um, yeah, and I will bring you guys back in literally probably like just a minute here. All right, guys, we are back. Um, we are here at the central cave. I'm super stinking excited. This is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking because our wolf is, as I've said, not the strongest. Uh, we did go ahead and level up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and just pump a little bit into health and maybe a little bit into melee, just so we're a little bit stronger here. All right, the middle chamber is now on our map, which is fantastic, um, and we are ready to head in. Uh, do I have enough stuff to repair this, actually? Okay, I do. Cool. So if our... Um, <laughs> If our lovely torch decides to go out, we should be fine. This cavern's dangerous at my level. Yeah, I figured. I figured. All right, game. We got this. We got this. We'll see what we can do. I'm a little worried about trying to take on too many creatures at once. I'm definitely worried about running into Megalosaurus. Those things can be um, pretty hard hitting. All right, so we've got some bats. Let's go ahead and start with these. All right, 170, a 260. Dang it, they couldn't be low level, could they? All right, our hat's gonna break pretty quickly, but hopefully we can pick up another one while we're in here. There's my torch gone. All right, perfect. I just need the artifact so I can make myself an Ascendant Chitin helmet. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. All right, it is super dark in here. Okay, nothing good there. I'm also kind of looking for another helmet. Uh, that would be nice if we could get another cloth helmet as backup. I'm not super worried about it, but just in case, it would be nice. Nope, nothing. All right, cool. Well, let's just hop on and keep going then. Um, 
We're not too hurt so far, and luckily we will have a lot of meat that we can use to heal Bullet up here so that uh, she doesn't take quite as much quite as much of a beating as she might otherwise. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of force feeding. Get her up just a little. I'm not super concerned about it, but if we run into like a high level Arthropleura, um, that could hurt a lot. All right, so we've got scorpions, spiders. This is always kind of the worst area. All right, let's just gently come in here and try to hit stuff. So far, so good. We're not taking too much damage. Up, out, that hurts. Okay, there we go. All right, there is a snake and a couple of spiders, but we're fine. We're doing surprisingly well. Oh boy, everything's coming now. All right, let's go ahead and back up a little. We should be okay. We should be okay. I just want to, like, hit as much as we can. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, once we clear this area out, it should be a little easier going forward. This is usually the thickest area, as you can see with creatures. Um, so we are going to be just fine once we get past this little section, I think. All right, let's go ahead and kill the spider. Uh, both spiders. All right, can we get them? Could advance on them. I don't like to, but I can. There we go. Oh my gosh, these are so high level. Sometimes you get lucky with low levels, and then sometimes you really don't. All right, there are also dung beetles over there, which I may need to pick one of those up at some point. Um, <laughs> that could be extremely useful. Um, so, all right, let's go ahead and force feed a little. Oh my goodness. It does make me nervous being in this cave at this level on a wolf that is technically not that strong. We're okay right now, but um, that could change at any moment. 3k health can go very, very quickly if you have a lot of creatures on you. So let's just go ahead and try to get ourselves back up a little bit. Plus, it'll also keep us a little bit lighter here. I would like to keep all of this chitin and hide. I don't know that I'll be able to. Um, let's just go ahead and drop that and that. Uh, and this, actually, I'm going to keep those just in case we end up getting a little bit crazy here. All right. Um, if we need to drop something, I'll try to drop meat above everything else. All right. Spider or snake. We got a snake. That's all right. We can kill the snake. That'll be easy. Bullet's doing awesome. Bullum, Bullet is a heck of a dog here. She is doing fabulous with us. Uh, all right. So we're good there. All right, I see the artifact. We just need to get that and get out. That's the goal. All right, let's sneak over this way. I'm going real slow because I don't want to attract too many things at once. Okay, we've got to level up. Let's go ahead and put that into melee. Yeah, not the strongest dog, but she's got some pretty good stats on her, which is not bad. The health is a little lower than what I would like, but I think... Once we get, um, once we get a good helmet on Bullet here, uh, one, she'll look a little bit less like a Bullet with this cloth helmet, and two, she'll actually be a lot better off in terms of stats, um, because it won't matter quite so much. I'm not going to mess with the Megalosaurus. I don't want to wake it up, because she, that Megalosaurus will pull me off of my mount. Oh man, we did so much damage right there. It hurt a lot, but we did so much damage. Okay, can we get over here? Let's make everything angry. Come to me. Do it. Hi, Scorpion. All right. Oh man, the knockback on these things is great. All right, cool, we're doing great. Um, once we get these scorpions down and maybe that snake that I saw over there, we should be in good shape to grab the artifact and get out of here. I don't want to spend too, too long in here just because I want to be as safe as possible. Oh my gosh, these things are so high level. There we go. Luckily, we do a lot of damage on Bullet. She's actually got pretty good melee. Oh, there it is. There's the snake. I knew it was coming. I see it. Hi. There. Hi. Okay. No more snake. Now spider. Okay. It's fine. We got it. It's fine. We got this. We'll, we'll get him. Oh my goodness. Come on. Alright, kill the Mega Piranha. For the fish meat. I guess we need it to feed our otter anyway. It's totally fine. 
Come here. Okay, are we good? I think we're good for a moment. All right, let's go ahead and back up here. I'm gonna pop off and we'll just inch our way up here, grab this, take it, perfect. All right, can we get onto you? Beautiful, all right, so let's go ahead and clear out now. We have done awesome. We got in, we got the artifact, and now we just need to get out without dying, that is the trick. Uh, but since we already cleared most of this, we should be pretty okay most of the way back. We should be able to just run out, basically, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Uh, yep, spiders have respawned, but that's alright, we're gonna ignore them for now. We don't need any more chitin at the moment, we just got a whole bunch, and hopefully this chitin is enough to make a chitin helmet, which is kind of what I was after from this cave. Um, we definitely could use... <laughs> We definitely could use an uh, Ascendant Chitin Helmet at this point, since I'm still wearing cloth. Um, it would be great. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, guys. That... Nope, cancel. <laughs> Only melee on these guys. Alright, so that went really, really, really well. Let's go ahead and just feed a little bit of food here. Um, we didn't even lose that much health, which is great. I'm just going to drop a little bit of the meat. I hate to do it, but it's super heavy. We don't need it. Okay. All right. So now that we're fast uh, or faster, um, the goal is going to be to run back over to our base. It is getting pretty dark. Oh, we got another pumpkin. All right. Oh, toxicant arrows. Those are awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we're still good. Uh, and man, I'm excited. I, I haven't found too many things here in these pumpkins. I think this is the second pumpkin I found, but um it's good stuff. I like getting these pumpkins. I think it's extremely useful to get some of these items and uh, be a little bit more prepared. I may go down to the beach and run along the north coast of the Redwoods. It's not the best place, but there are aloes over there, and I really don't want to mess with those if we can avoid them. I really don't like those things. They make me super nervous. Uh, they are very strong, and they could easily wreck poor Bullet here, and I need Bullet to keep track of our bison and eventually we need to get some sheep as well uh that's gonna be a thing so that we can have a true sheep dog all right let's go this way doing really well so far okay all right all right good all right so now we're at the coast uh cool so i'm just gonna finish the run back to uh back to our mountain house here so that we're a little bit more established um we keep running into these flare gun. That's the second flare gun I've gotten from these, which is great. Um, I guess we could use that. <laughs> cool. I'll take it. I will take it. It's definitely useful stuff. Um, I did not really expect to be finding this many pumpkins out and about today, but I guess that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, so I'll bring you guys back when we're over at base uh, and we are ready to tribute this artifact because that run went very, very well. That probably won't be the last time I run that, but um, it definitely definitely was the first, so I wanted to, to share it. All right, guys, I will see you guys in just a minute here, and keep your fingers crossed for an Ascendant Helmet. All right, so we are at the Obelisk, and I think we're okay in this area for a moment. All right, so it's also getting very late at night, which is great. Um, let's go ahead and tribute this artifact before I forget to. Uh, we also picked up another pumpkin, three gravestones. So now if we lose a creature on here, we have a way to start like a little pet cemetery, which I hope we don't lose any creatures, but um, that's definitely a possibility. So I'm glad we have those. I'm actually gonna start the pursuit for this uh, tribute just so that it is going to give me the XP. Please get me a helmet blueprint. That's what I really am after right here. Dang it, okay. Well, that's a big sad. I will have to probably run that again, but we did at least get some improved armor, which is great. Um, yeah, chitin leggings and a chitin chest piece. They're okay, they're not great. The dura on that one's terrible. This one's better, but the armor's, eh. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, they're not the worst, and they will definitely keep us alive a little bit longer out there. Uh, 
but that is a little bit nerve wracking because we are going to have to figure out how to get a better, um, a better helmet for Bullet here because I don't want her dying uh, when we start to go and try to do higher level caves like the Cave of the Strong. Although we may get a better um, or stronger dog for that. <laughs> go away, uh, little lizard. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, I actually do think that that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.